we are leaving camp and moving on to um, another area but before we go there is uh, one more little hike that we wanted to check out it's the sister site to the Palaki heritage site uh, you don't have to have the pass to go to this one it's a loop hike I think pretty pretty easy to do and coming down the road now the last home stretch there's a lot of pink tours that go to the Hanaki site. It is um, kind of a rough road, but no more rough than other parts of the 525. Here we go. It's five dollars to park here. How long is it? It's like three quarters of a mile. Oh. So it's like a loop. And then uh, pink tours are all in here. They get special, I guess, exclusive access because they support this area. Oh, interesting. Uh, a little, little cash into the national forest makes them untouchable, you know. <laughs> So, Pink Tours, if you go on a Pink Tour, you get special access to these ruins. But I'm sure it's the same access we got going to Palaki. We spotted them already. Very nice. This has got 70 rooms, possibly 200 people living here 800 years ago. Between 1050 and 1350. You are entering a living museum. Abuses will forever erase the traces of this ancient culture. You are the last defense in preserving this site for the future. Do you want to walk on the discovery trail? Let's discover something! We found it. Oh wow. This is cool. Look at the crown. I'm sure this was done by the park the park service, but Yeah, they chip pretty, it out. Pretty neat. That is cool. This is huge. Fantastic day right now. So this is a very hidden but if these trees weren't as tall back then. It could have even been taller. Oh yeah, know, right? could have been taller too. Think about it, this was all farmland at one point. But for living, I think they do like to find places that are pretty hidden. Yeah. Well, these amphitheaters. Yeah, they send out sound. Hello! Ah! <gasps> Look up there! Birds. There's a... Pictograph. Oh, yeah. The little fun thing. Oh, There's yeah. a big person one, too. It's a happy person. Like the mushroom man. This is cool. Using our red stretcher. Remember that guy's name? <gasps> there's hands. Yeah? Yeah. Yep, there's some blow hands right there and a couple of people with bows and arrows. This is cool. So they do these um, 
It's a test with these paintings. They're doing a dust test and every three months they'll take pictures to see how much dust is on their paintings and then they'll be able to judge how old the pictographs are. Bundy. I know an Amy Bundy from Florida. Amy Bundy. She did it right below or right next to on top of. Amy, why would you write on top of pictographs? Here's another house. See the old smoke? These are pretty big rooms. Yeah, they are. Way more than I would need. Yeah. Well, if you had a family, you'd all be living in the same one. My one bedroom apartment helped four people. You can make it happen. <laughs> <gasps> 227.25? 1925. That's crazy. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. I think it's cool. They also, there's a pictograph that looks like right next to it or underneath it. Oh, sure. oh it looks like there was a layer of wood going across there. So these might have been two levels. Yeah, that's all recreated. But this, this, I'm pretty sure is original. God, so, I mean, it, it looks like it's so easy to make an earth home. You know? you know, it's like you just slap a bunch of rocks with some really, you know, juicy clay. Yeah. You're a hell of a house. Definitely. That lasts a couple hundred freaking years. <laughs> Oh, that could be a flute player. Okay. Hmm. That looks more recent. Yeah. This is beautiful. So you can get a day pass, the Red Rock Day Pass for $5 and go to Palaki and Hanaki in the same day. Um, oh, there's a cave up there. You see it? stuff in it. I don't know if it's like living space. So it's a really cool ruin as you guys saw. I was really impressed by it and I think some of the petroglyphs were better or the pictographs were better than the other site. Um, we just didn't have somebody telling us what they meant or anything like that but there was the big circle one which I think was some sort of sun god. Anyways we're gonna head on. 
Kyle's gonna sit on that rock. You guys have a great day.